you've decided to change the drum roller shaft on your dryer. It's a pretty easy job. Don't need too many tools. Stubby Phillips screwdriver, 516 nut driver, a pair of snap ring pliers, and a 916 wrench. Let me show you how we do it. Very first step in doing this repair is to disconnect the power from your appliance. If your dryer has a cord on it, simply unplug it. If it has a disconnect switch, locate that switch and turn it off. Just verify that there is no power going to your dryer. The disassembly procedures for this repair are going to require taking the front panel off, removing the two Phillips screws that are located underneath the lip, put an inch in from each side. Once we remove the front panel, then we will take four 5 16 hex head screws from the bulkhead, remove that, and we're going to remove the belt, pull the drum out, that will give us full access to the repair. forward. Our next step will be to remove these four 5 16 screws that hold the front bulkhead in place. forward on it, lift up and pull forward. Reaching, roll the belt off the idler. Feel the belt wrapped around the idler pulley. Just roll it off. Now that we've removed the drum, you can see the location of the two drum rollers. They're held in place with a snap ring we need to remove. A flat washer. The drum roller itself. A spring washer that mounts on the rear. And then our shaft. Shaft is held in place with a 916 hex nut on the back side of it. We put a wrench on that and remove it. We replace the shaft. We'll take our new shaft and our 9 sixteenths nut, hold the nut in behind the bracket, and thread the shaft in by hand, make sure we don't get it cross threaded. Take a wrench and tighten that nut. Install the drum roller, the washers, and the retaining clip. We install our new drum roller. It comes with two fiber washers so we can eliminate this metal wave washer that was originally on the dryer. One of our fiber washers, slide it over the shaft. Take the drum roller, and there's no front or back on it. Our second fiber washer, locate it over the shaft. Now we're ready to put our retaining ring back on. Put 
with our retaining ring pliers. Just spread it enough to get it over the shaft and lock it into the groove. Our repair is complete. To begin the reassembly, we'll look at putting the belt in first. We turn it so that we have the grooved side of the belt outward. We're just going to drape it up over the rear bulkhead here and lay it roughly in position where it will be around the motor pulley and the idler pulley. And we'll take the drum. Slide it back until so it's fully inside the cabinet. But we won't set it up on the drum rollers yet. So what we're gonna do is reach in over the top, take that belt, lift it off the bulkhead, Lay it across the top of the drum, just forward of this rib. We'll reach in on the left hand side, take the belt, we'll roll it around the motor pulley, the groove side facing the motor pulley. We'll come across the top of the pulley. Wrap it around it, tuck it through, and then roll it onto the hider pulley. We can view that from the back to make sure that we have it right. Pull the tumbler off of the rear drum rollers, it takes the tension off the spring. Now we can just lift it up into place, rotate the drum clockwise, make sure our blower wheel is turning freely, and that should center our belt. That's the last check. You can reach in, just feel, make sure that the rib side is up, the flat side of the belt is against the drum, and it's in position. Next, we take our bulkhead. We want to make sure that this piece fits into this felt and doesn't fold it over. So line it up. To aid in putting this front bulkhead on, I have a couple of little locator tabs here that will fit into the hole above where the screw would go in. So we'll lift up on that bulkhead, lifting the drum with it, and let it sit into place there. And then we can reinstall the 5 16 hex head screws. Put one on one side. Line up the hole. Again, we'll check that felt. Make sure it didn't move on us. Nope, we're okay there. The last thing is feel inside the drum where it meets the front bulkhead make sure that that felt isn't folded over. That's all lined up. We can tuck our wire harness in behind. Bring our front panel into position. We'll engage the clips on the top of the front panel into a couple of openings in the top panel. Just tilting it forward, lifting it up into place, holding it firmly up against the top, and then lower it into position. We'll reinstall two Phillips screws. And the repair is complete.